what it is everybody's architect miss j with another video if you haven't already hit that subscribe button the like button uh notification bell comment let me know what your your thoughts on today's topic man um and what i'm reacting to is apple music's um 100 best albums ever i guess in the streaming era there's been a lot of controversy going on um via social media i seen most of the list and I understand why a lot of those albums were on the list, but I do disagree with some of them that's on there. And I guess really the place and the ranking. And there was some albums left off, though, man. But but let me read you what Apple Music put on their Instagram. 100 is an incredibly small number. And it meant we had to leave out so many records we love. Our team, plus a panel of artists, songwriters, producers, and experts voted to decide the greatest records ever made. Now we want to know what makes your list and why. Hmm. That's a good question. For me, what makes my list, obviously if it jams or not or whatever, but that can't be the deciding factor. What makes my list is impact. Like what did this what did these albums do for the culture at the time, whether it be culture genre like genre wise, whether it be culture, uh, where you are in life, like what has this album done for you? That's my, that's for me. That's what, what makes my list. And you know, when I was growing up, um, listening to music and even music today. So, um, but again, music is subjective and I'm giving my opinion. So don't get, don't get it. Regardless of what I say, people are going to disagree. People, are going to have their own opinions. People are going to get emotional. It is what it is, though, because that's the beauty of music. Music is emotion, pretty much. It controls people's emotion. So, um, but like, I, I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna fully go through all the albums and stuff and what I think about them. But um, I will go through like a, I will jot through a few of them. A few of the, uh, I guess, like the the hundred, hundred through through 11 i will jot through that the main ones i want to focus on is the top 10 so we're gonna start off with 100 through 81 let's see body talk robin the eagles uh hotel cal i understand that i feel like that should have been higher astroworld travis scott um interesting uh rage against the machines uh lord a pure hair cafe us that's see that that's the one that confused me. Usher confession to me should have been should have been way 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 higher, possibly top top twenty at least minimum top twenty. Um, let's see. Uh, da, da, da. Solange Solange had a really good album. Tyler the Creator, uh, the AC, the Lady Gaga, she definitely deserves to be on there. Um, Massive Attack. Mary J. Bly definitely deserves to be on that. Issue. I think she needs to be higher. Uh, Doggy star style. Um, I feel like it could be a little bit higher by Snoop Dogg. I definitely think. Give her to die. Trash. Trying should be at least top fifty. Top fifty. Like, I don't know why it's like in the bottom hundreds. But uh, anyway, let's go to the next one. See eighty through sixty one. Uh, see eighty through sixty one. Eminem's Marshall Matthews LP. I think that should be and I mean, I'm not even a huge Eminem fan though, but I think that should be top fifty as well. But just because of what he's done for, for rap, for sure. Uh Elden John, I understand why he's there. Um uh, let's see, like a like a prayer. Uh by Madonna. Bad Bunny, that's an interesting choice. Um, I'm not sure. Missy Super Super Duper Fly. I understand why she's on this list for sure. I, I would have been, I would have had her a little bit higher. Uh, Scissor. I guess from a, I, I don't know what the criteria is though, but I guess if we're talking about streaming numbers and streaming like breaking records, for sure she should should be on here. I get it. Straight out of Compton, NWA. I get why they're on here. Maybe a tad bit higher. No, no, they're 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 perfect where they're at. Uh, the De La Soul, Erica Badu, I think she's in the right spot. Jimi Hendrix, I think Jimi Hendrix needs to be higher. All eyes on me, Pac's got to be higher than that, man. I think his his needs to be at least top top fifty as well. Um, Shade, 
Sade's in a perfect spot for sure. 61, definitely. Love Deluxe. Yeah, because I, I, man, I used to listen to Sade every day. Like, every day. Like, I'm saying currently, like, I want to say, like, I still listen to it, like, every once in a while, but I used to listen to her every day, for sure. All right, we're going to go to do, 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 60 through 41. We got to go through this quick, though, because I want to get to the top 10. Um, see, D'Angelo, I get why he's there. Rihanna, anti, anti, is anti, anti. Um, that's interesting. Uh, I get why she's there. Hmm. That's an interesting choice. I get, I understand why she's there, though. She definitely deserves to be on this list, though, but, um, so for her to be so low, I, I don't know. Um, let's see. The Rolling Stones at 53. Uh, yeah, that's a, they're in a good spot. Um, Guns N' Roses. That's a pretty good spot. Yeah, I, yeah, I remember that, man. I remember, yeah. Yeah, I definitely remember watching, like, those older movies like Top Gun and, um, clear and present danger and stuff. I remember back in that era. So yeah, the, I, I get why they're there for sure. Prince, uh, sign sign of the times. Understandable. That's a good spot. Let's see. Paul, who say the Beatles? Drake, take care. Take care could be a little bit higher. It, I think it's top thirty. Take it. We talk about the impact of, although what Drake is going through right now, um, you know, with his beef with Kendrick Lamar, man, people people forget the the impact. People forget the impact Drake has had on music, like people rapping like him, singing like him. Like I'm an artist myself. I went through that spurt of of trying to sing sing rap and stuff. Even though Drake didn't didn't create the 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 rapper that sings or whatnot. He had an impact on a lot of people, and that album changed the sound. I would say it did change the sound in some pl in some places or whatever in music for sure. It should be top thirty. I, if we be if we just keeping it a bean, it has to be. Um, Bob Marley, and uh, was it number forty six? Exodus. Uh, oh, Stevie Wonder. I get why he's there. Janet Jackson. Control. That's a good spot. Outcast. Yeah, that's a good spot too. All right, well, let's go to 41 through 20. 40 through 21 now. Hmm. Nas Illmatic. Man, that's a tough one. I feel like Illmatic gotta be has to be top 20. If we're talking about hip hop albums, Illmatic has to be top 20. I think it's disrespectful to have him. 39 is a good spot, but from what I seen, the album, if we talking about the if we talking about top hip hop, like, you know, rap albums and stuff of all time, Nas gotta be top twenty. Has to be. And I'm not even a huge Nas fan. I just know the impact that he had on music, for sure. Uh Aretha Franklin, that's a good spot, for sure. Um at number forty. Number thirty seven, Wu Tang. Wu Tang should be higher, maybe like right at number thirty. Uh, Beyonce at 36. A lot. Of, I know the Beehive gonna be mad. I know the Beehive kind of mad right now. Um, even as far as like the top 10, I'm pretty sure that they're mad about that too. Uh, but I think 30, 36 is is a, is a respectable spot. Oh man. Um, and I got I gotta I gotta speed this up. Ready to die. Uh, Notorious B.I.G. 32. My opinion. 32 is a respectable spot. I think I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people, hip hop heads, um, mainly New York people, that feel like Notorious Ready to Die should be in top ten. That's debatable. Um, I think it's in a good spot. That's just me. I think Tupac, Tupac's album should be higher than Biggie's album. I'm sorry. I feel like Tupac, to me, as far as impact, Tupac had a bigger impact than Biggie to me. That's just me. Like I, I'm sorry. That. What else? Uh, we're gonna go Pink Floyd, um, Tribe Called Quest, Billy Eilish. See, some of these people I haven't even listened to. My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy by Kanye West. 
that's not even the Kanye's best album, and it's on this. And if we're talking about, I'm not sure what the criteria is. Are we talking about streaming? Are we talking about impact number wise? My beautiful dark uh, twisted fantasy. Hmm. Now I will say this: Kanye's best song, to me, in my opinion, is "All of the Lights." Um, and my favorite song from him is "All Falls Down." But the album as a whole, like out of all the greatest albums. To me, that's not even his best album. Like his best album is College Dropout. And what I've seen, I've seen the list already. And College Dropout isn't on the list. I'm highly surprised that College Dropout isn't on this list because there's so many hip hop albums that I could take off this list and replace it with College Dropout. Like it's not even like to me, College Dropout had a bigger impact on music than a lot of these albums, these hip hop albums that's on here. If we talking about the the change of sound, the style, how it made people feel, like at the end of the day, man, like Kanye, like that, the bear Kanye, the Kanye with the polo, the polo, uh, polo shirt with the with the with the sweater and stuff, man, like that, that's the person that that Kanye, that Kanye fans fell in love with, man, and his album really did touch a lot of people. Um. And it's crazy. It, it's it, it, that triggered me when I first seen that though. It, the, the fact that. And I'm not mad at my beautiful dark twisted fantasy that's on here. I'm glad Kanye made the list, whatever. But I feel like College Dropout to me was a more impactful album than that one. To me, it was. Um, let's see, Daft Punk Discovery. Yeah, I yeah that that I yeah that deserves to be that number twenty three. Uh, Born to Run, Bruce Springsteen. That deserves to be there for sure. Uh, the Beatles. The Beatles just got classics. They deserve to be there for sure. Um, now we're getting closer to the top 10. We're, we're going to go to number 10. We're going to go to number 20 through uh, what, twenty through 11. The Beach Boys. Pet Sounds. Yeah, I get it for sure. Dr. Dre, The Chronic. That's debatable. I would have put that in top 10. I, if we talking about hip hop albums of all time, we would have put. I would have put that in top 10 for sure to... I would switch that album out with a with another hip hop album that's in the top ten. That's just me, my my opinion. So, um, see Taylor Swift. If we're talking about streaming wise, number wise, I get why she's on there. Greatest of all time. If we're talking about greatest of all time, debatable, but she deserves to be on this list. If we're talking about fans and numbers wise and billboards, yeah, I get it. Marvin Gaye, what's going on? Absolutely. He does number 17, perfect spot. Uh Adele 21. She had a huge impact. Surprisingly, I agree with that spot, man. She had a the impact that she had when she first came out. Absolutely. Uh da, 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 da. Bob Dylan at number 14. The Blueprint, number 13. That's a that's a good spot. That's a good spot for Jay-Z, number 13. Um, absolutely. Yeah, man, I'm not mad at that spot. The blueprint definitely had an impact for sure. Now, I don't know if it's higher than, man. I don't know if it's higher than, yeah, is it higher than Illmatic? I don't know. Illmatic. I feel like they're like, if we, if we had like 12 and 13, I feel like Illmatic would be 12. Blueprint would be 13. That's just me. You know, and, and I'm, I don't know. Oh, man, it's a hard one, man. Because on any given day, they could, man, they can go above each other or swap out. Um, Radiohead, let's see, number 12, and then number 14, no, no, number 11, uh, Rumors, uh, Fleetwood Mac. I get it. Now, let's get to the top 10. Sorry it took so long to get to the top 10, but let's get to it. Number 10, Beyonce, Lemonade, Beehive. How do y'all feel about Beyonce being at number 10? Greatest albums of all time. To me, I think I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at her being number 10. Um, I, hmm, I feel like I will say there are there is another album on this top 10 that if we if we just being subjective could be swapped out. Um 
and taken out of the top 10. But, you know, I don't want to sound... I don't care if I sound like a hater. I'm giving my opinion. So, I'm not mad because... And the day with Lemonade did a lot did a lot for women that's been through um, what Beyonce was talking about on the album. Definitely, man. And it was a moment. Lemonade was a moment in history. I understand why she's at number 10. Number nine, Nirvana. Nirvana, never mind. Hmm. I didn't listen to Nirvana that much growing up, but... I did see music videos on MTV and uh, VH1 as a kid, and they had a lot of them. So if we're talking about numbers-wise, and numbers-wise, I understand why they're there, you know, for that genre. It makes sense. Uh, number eight, Amy Winehouse, Back to Black. Hmm. I'm not sure if she should be top ten. Um, if we maybe impact, man, I don't want to say the wrong thing because I, I don't want to sound insensitive. Um, if we talk, uh, let's say impact of her music did touch a lot of people. Um, number eight though, it's subjective, man. And I feel like she could be like top 40 top 40 though but i'm not mad i'm not mad at her for being on the list though for sure she had an impact for real um her sound definitely she had a, a specific sound for sure um it's subjective you know i'm not mad at it though number seven kendrick lamar good kid mad city all right y'all all right k dot fans are we gonna sit here and say that Good Kid, Mad City is the greatest hip hop album of all time. Like, look, look at me, look at me, look at me right now, and sit here and tell me that Good Kid, Mad City is the greatest hip hop album of all time. Are we, if we are we going off of streaming? Are we going off of impact? Are, are we going off of changing the sound? It's Good Kid, Mad City. Did it had a bigger? Did it have a bigger impact than Chronic? Did it have a bigger impact than college dropout? Are we? Uh, can we? Can we keep it a bean? Are we? Are we? Is this album number no top ten because of the Drake Drake and Kendrick beef? Is that what it is? Are we just riding the wave right now? Let, let we gotta keep it a bean, man. And if I and let, let's come on, man, the greatest hip hop album of all time. Because I think this is the only hip-hop album on the top 10. Well, no, no, no. Actually, there is another hip-hop album or whatever. But we saying the greatest hip-hop album. Wait. Top two greatest hip-hop albums of all time. Are we saying Good Kid, Mad City by Kendrick Lamar is the second greatest hip-hop album of all time? Greater. <laughs> I got to disagree. I got respectfully disagree. It's a great album. It, it definitely should be top 20. Top 30. No, no, no. Top 30. Could we been keeping it being? Um, Drake's Take Care and Nothing Was the Same had a bigger impact than Good Kid Mad City. I'm sorry, it did. Like that album changed, I would say, Take Care and um, Nothing Was the Same. Those two albums changed the sound of music. Changed, like, it changed how people rap. It changed how people sing their writing. Like, people wasn't rapping like Kendrick. And, and, and Kendrick is a really good rapper. He's talented. He won to me. Yeah, he. I think he won the beef against Drake. Absolutely. We just being competitive. But on this list, are you going to sit here and tell me that Good Kid, Mad City had a bigger impact than Drake's Take Care and Drake's Drake's um oh my gosh um um nothing was the same? Can y'all really tell me that? Top thirty, understandable. Top ten. Let's see. Number six. Stevie Wonder, Songs in the Key of Life. Absolutely. Perfect spot. Um this is like this is like my mom's era. My mom and my pop's era, you know, them come them growing up. 
definitely the soundtrack of a lot of people's lives growing up in that era. Um, heard it in a lot of movies. Um, used to hear this music while my, while my mom's cleaning up. For sure. I get it. Number five. Okay. This is the one album that I, I completely disagree should be top ten. If we talking about the greatest, if we, they're saying if this is if they're saying this is top five um, R and B albums of all time, right? According to streaming numbers, you know, impact whatever their qualifications are. Can y'all look at me with a with a straight face and tell me that "Blonde" by Frank Ocean is better than Usher's "Confessions"? Look at me in this camera. Look at me in this camera and tell me that Frank Ocean's album "Blonde" is better than Usher's "Confessions" and it had a bigger impact than Usher's "Confessions." I know it's opinion based, but I call a spade a spade. Is this, does this have a bigger impact than Usher's Confessions? I'm sorry. If we, if we going, if we going to swap an album out of the top 10, I'm swapping this out for Confessions, Usher. I'm sorry. What you know about a supermodel? This is my Confessions. Like, come on, man. Like, come on, man. Frank Ocean is, is super talented, and he don't really put out a lot of music. But like, like, come on, man. And then if we if we if we talking about arguably one of the um, greatest man, if we if we not like top five greatest R and B singers in in the in music history, yeah, Usher's definitely top five easily. Top five. So you mean tell me this album is greater than Confessions? I gotta disagree, man. I'm sorry. Number four, Prince Purple Rain. I get it. I understand why he's up there, man. Purple Rain definitely, um, it definitely changed the sound. It changed the sound, man. Uh, changed the sound of a lot of things in music. I get it. Um, I understand why Purple Rain is up there. Um, Prince was so talented, man. He played played almost fifty gazillion instruments, and um, he definitely. Song is so iconic and it's been sampled so many times. So yeah, it definitely deserves to be up there. Number three, Abbey Road by the Beatles. Absolutely perfect spot. Um, the Beatles, the Beatles literally have um, I want to say the the high. I wanted well before Drake broke it or whatever. As far as like um, number ones and I think it's like number yeah number ones. Whatever, where Drake broke that. Uh, no, 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 no. That was that was Michael Jackson. But yeah, but as far as like numbers and stuff and history, the Beatles are up there. Abbey Rhodes definitely should be up there. I remember hearing the Beatles. Um, I definitely remember hearing it growing up, even watching Forrest Gump. Um, was was Beatles on that movie? I'm not sure. I definitely remember. Um, and hearing the Beatles, and they they definitely had an impact on music for sure. Number two, this is the, and these, number two, man, Michael Jackson Thriller. And see, this is, it's not triggering, but, man, I I don't want to get emotional about this, but this could easily be the best album of all time, like Thriller, easily, man. Like, if we talking about hit after hit, if we talk about moments in Houston, moments in music. Excuse me, correction. Moments in music, man. Like Thriller for sure gave people gave people that moment. What Michael meant to so many generations, and st- even till this day, um, the King of Pop, um, probably the greatest performer in music history. If we not, this is debatable. You know, Beyonce, Chris Brown, and stuff, whatever. But um, Michael Jackson, King of Pop, had so many songs that people. People remember where they were in life when a lot of these songs came out or when they first heard this song. And that it was super relatable of stuff that they was going through, you know, and just the song, the music jam. If you seen like clips of Michael Jackson shows, he was like he was a man, my God, he was like beyond. He was a rock star, man, pop star, rock star. 
like like bigger than life. I feel like this album could have been number one for sure. And number one, debatable, but it deserves to be up there. Number one, the miseducation of Lauren Hill. Greatest hip hop of all time. Is it the greatest hip hop of all time? When I think about who has the best hip hop of all time. Yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense for Lauren Hill to be number one. I would met I would say the greatest hip not even hip hop of all greatest hip hop album of all time. Absolutely. Greatest album of all time. Man, this is hard. I still think Thriller is the greatest album of all time. Absolutely. Michael Jackson could have been number one. But I understand why Lauren Hill's up there, for sure. She deserves to be up there. She deserves to be top three, for sure. I just man, it's it I like man, I don't want to come off as a hater. But um I wish they had tiers of Greatest hip hop albums of all time, greatest um, R and B albums of all time, greatest country albums of all time, pop rock. So we wouldn't have to go through this right right now because it's going to make me sound like a hater. But I like Thriller more than I like the Miseducation of Lauryn Hill. But does she deserve to be number one if we're talking about the greatest hip hop album of all the time? Absolutely, because that album from top to bottom marked off a lot of checked off a lot of things. If we're talking about album wise, impact, what it how it made people feel. Um, even when you hear hear that music at shows, uh, when you just out and about and you hear it, like when you singing it word for word. Michael too. But um for sure, if we talking about hip hop for sure though, man. But um those are my thoughts on um Apple Music's greatest uh well, let me bring it back. Let me bring it back up. Those are my thoughts of Apple Music's 100 Best Albums. Um, let me know how y'all feel. Um, this is Argus Hacking Mr. J with another video. Um, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, the like button. Uh, drop your opinion in the in the comments. Do you agree with the top 10? Do you agree with some albums that are on there? Like, Let me know how you feel. Let me know what album was left off this list. And which albums would you swap? Cause I like again, I would swap Usher number. I think Frank Ocean was number five. I would s swap Usher's Confession with Frank Ocean easily, not even a debate. And Frank, I get Frank Ocean does deserve to be. Maybe he deserves to be top hundred for sure. And I get, I understand why he's up there because uh, his fan base is so. He has a cult following. But um, even if we even talking about this, that like, what changed the sound of music? However, look at Bryson Tiller. Bryson Tiller changed the sound of music. We talking about like melodics and stuff, but does he? De but that's debatable if he even deserves to be up there though, which I understand why Frank Ocean is here. But but again though, let me know how y'all feel. Give me your thoughts inside the comments. Till next time, peace.